What's up everybody? Welcome back to Fishing with Gramps. Today another unboxing as we get ready for the upcoming bass season. We're probably about a month out here in southern Indiana. Last weekend it was 70. This weekend it's going to be 20. This place don't know what it wants to do, but the water is warming up. Weather's heading in the right direction. A couple of weeks we'll be back at it. But in the meantime, let's take a look at some of the baits that we're going to be fishing in the upcoming season. Now a lot of these are baits that are new or our upgrades or updates that were revealed during last year's iCast. They finally hit the market and I've been picking them off one at a time as they started becoming available. Now a lot of these can be found at American Legacy Fishing Company. You use my discount code, you're not only getting the best price, you're saving an additional 10%. And if you do find it for a better price, Call American Legacy Fishing Company and they'll price match it. It's just the way they operate. They don't have all the baits yet, but they've got most of them and they're getting more in every day. But when it comes to rods and reels, yep, you're going to be set. First up, let's talk about this cool hat that I got from Andrew Hayes over at the Tackle Talk podcast. If you're big into podcasts, especially really good podcasts about fishing, man, you need to find them. In all the places that you find podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, your Apple, whatever, it's one of the top rated fishing podcast there is got a cool little thank you note got a couple of stickers to go with the hat again andrew thank you so much i appreciate it my man let's dive in and look at some of the baits we're going to be testing out this year a lot of people want to know are the baits really what they say they are are they worth the hype do they live up to the hype a lot of the times from what we hear all the time i'm gonna throw these baits this year and we'll find out over the last couple of seasons i went through a whole bunch of different guggen baits last year i went through a whole bunch of six cents baits this year i'm bringing it back around to some of the biggest names in the industry so let's get started and see what we got. We'll start with Berkeley right out the gate. First up, the Stunner. Yep, the Hank Cherry Special. I don't throw a ton of jerk baits, but I figure I had to get the one, the Hank Cherry Special. So we threw in a Stunner. Next up and new from Berkeley, the Power Bait Infused Skirted Jigs. Of course, these are the Gary Klein Specials. I went with the Skipping Jigs this year because I love Skipping Jigs, so I figured why not. I got three different colors, the Hot Crawl, the Blue Crawl, and Watermelon Candy. Power Bait Infused Skirts. Is it going to make a difference? I don't know. But you know what will help make a difference? Yeah, <laughs> Maxent Infused Chigger crawl. Yep, you probably noticed regular power bait chigger crawls have been on sale in a lot of places. Why? They're making room for the new Max Scent chigger crawls. Got the four inch black and blue, and I got the three inch pumpkin green fleck. Great trailers for the back of those jigs. Now for Texas rig, and as an alternate jig trailer, I got some Max Scent Creature Hog. This one's a four inch green pumpkin party, and this one's a four inch black and blue fleck. Now normally I would take these out of the package and show them to you, but I'm trying to preserve all the scent until I get out on the water. I also got some Max Scent Flatworm. These are like the Greg Blanchard Special for drop shotting. And I've actually got about five more packs of these. They're just sitting on the boat. I didn't bring them into the fishing man cave to, to put on the video. <laughs> but I got a bunch of flatworms in several different colors. Max scent. We're gonna try it out. Is it really is is it like the commercials say or what everybody says, or is it BS? If you've been following along the channel, you know I love the Yamamoto Senko. So what did I do? I got five packs of the Berkeley Max Scent, and these are called the General. That's the name of their stick bait. The first one's a five inch green pumpkin the second one's a five inch green pumpkin party five inch black and blue fleck five inch green pumpkin and another five inch green pumpkin party now why so many of those especially in the green pumpkin color a lot of the places i fish around here are real clear water lakes the funny thing is here in southern indiana i literally have every kind of fishing pretty much that you have. I have reservoirs. I have natural lakes. I have uh, uh, strip pits that have been mined out and have filled up since and are crystal clear. I have creeks. I have rivers. We have a little bit of everything around here and you kind of have to have a broad range of stuff. Lots of green pumpkins, lots of black and blues, and then a mix of stuff in between. Next up, a couple of jigs I picked up. These are small finessier type jigs from Dirty Jigs Tackle. Haven't thrown a lot of these but they have them at American Legacy, so I wanted to pick a few up. I've heard a lot about them, haven't thrown them a lot, so I figured I'd add some to the box this year. 
It's a green pumpkin crawl. And then another quarter ounce in black and blue. Next up, Z-Man. You saw me grab these at the end of the year as soon as they came into American Legacy Fishing. I was also able to pick up a black and blue and a shad color one, and these are all in the half ounce size. But also when these three quarter ounce became available, I picked a green pumpkin candy and I picked up a shad color. Now why would you want a three quarter ounce? Like I said, some of the places I fish are really, really deep. I mean 50, 60 feet. I'm thinking in the summertime, when those fish go down and go down, maybe I drag some of these along the bottom, slow rolling them, see if I can't get lucky. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But I wanted some heavier ones that I could really let sink deep or maybe work some edges and see if I can't catch some bigger fish this year. If you've been following the channel, last year I did a lot of how-to videos, things like that. This year, we're gonna do a couple of other different things. I'm gonna do some videos showing what it is I love about bass fishing being in the outdoors and showing it off really well. But this year I'm also on a monster bass hunt. I'm looking for my PB here in the state of Indiana. The last time I caught a fish over six pounds was 6.87 back in 1999. Yeah, it's been a long time. I actually won my club's classic with that fish, but I don't think I've caught a fish at least that big or bigger since then. Not one that I've measured with the scale. I've done a lot of fishing over the years where I just took pics of big fish I caught, but this year I'm on a mission for a new personal best. Be it by boat, kayak, bank, I don't care. I'm gonna do some work getting out chasing a monster bat. Now trailers to go with those, I've got the Razor Shads, so it's a bigger profile for those bigger big blade chatterbait. This one's in the color of the deal. These are pearl white and then these are black and blue. Now I also picked up some of the chatterbait minis. These might come in handy here in the early season but where I think these are going to play the most are probably in the fall. That time of year actually where I really prefer throwing the chatterbait stealth. Different sounds, the stealth of the smaller chatterbait just like these are smaller chatterbaits. So this will be that time when I'm throwing around after that shad spawn when the bass are starting to load up for winter time. So these probably won't get a whole lot of work early on, but they really will late. So we'll see how that goes. Trailers for these, hey, they came in my monster bass box. I got some diesel minnows. I got all kinds of different chatterbait trailers and whatnot, but we'll talk about that when we get out on the water. Next up, something a little different, and these came from Shop Carl's. But like I said, I'm chasing big bass, so I'm doing things a little bit different. Trying to throw some baits that maybe these big bass haven't seen before. And talk about something new, Mike Buka teamed up with artist Jekyll, who paints crankbaits and swim baits, and they collaborated and painted some very specific pattern for these big bullgill swim baits. They're not huge, but again, might be something different than the bass around here have seen. This one's obviously in a red breast color, really slick. This one in a long ear pattern, that is really cool. And this one in a Rayburn red. That will get thrown early in the year. Next, I picked up some more trailers, one of my favorite trailers, these Kamikaze Swim-Ons by Big Bite Baits. This one's in a smoky gold. Of course, I had to get some pearl whites. These are the Hematoma, that black and blue swirl mix. Nice. Of course, you gotta have some of the fire crawl to go with those red crawl jackhammers. Next up, to go with our new Andy Montgomery skipping rod, paired up with the Luz Pro SP reel, we had to get some Andy Montgomery skipping jigs, right, from Strike King. Got the black and blue, got the, what do I got here, like a green watermelon with red flake, ooh. These should be good for skipping under docks under those laydowns. Gonna throw some rage bugs on the back of these. Should be fun. Something else to throw on that skipping combination, a skipping buzz bait. This ought to be pretty slick. I don't think I've ever tried to skip a buzz bait before, but hey, we're gonna try it this year. Looks like it comes with one rage tail swimmer and then a rage frog. And then I've also got some other rage frogs that are by themselves to be backup trailers, but I've never skipped a buzz bait before, so something new for 2022. Yep, and another new one for this year, the Chick Magnet. Of course, I got one in craw color, but this is a flat side. I've heard a lot of good things about them, so of course I had to grab one. But I also had to grab some red eye shads. <laughs> oh yeah, one of the best lipless crankbaits just ever made, especially early in the year. Got a couple of different sizes, a couple of different colors, but yeah, had to do it. And last but not least, something else we're gonna be trying out. Yep, the new Seaguar Basics. This is supposed to be the line that's gonna, 
I don't know if it's replacing the red label, but maybe they're, you know, more affordable fluorocarbon in the lineup. And once I saw that American Legacy Fishing had it in, I got some in 10 for crankbaits, 12 for chatterbaits, and 15 for Texas rigs and so forth. So, hey, we're going to give it a shot this year, see how it goes. And yes, we're putting it on the tournament rods. We got to know how good it really is or not. So we got to put it in when it matters the most, especially when we're out chasing those big bass. Now, out of all of those baits, which one would you be looking forward to throwing first? Yeah, that's a lot of stuff, but hey, that's what we do. We play with a lot of stuff, see what works, see what doesn't. Is it a hit or is it a miss? We'll find out at the end of the season. Either way, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to catch fish on all of these baits because these are all name brands that have been around the industry for a long. You guys know, I've said it a million times, I've always been a striking guy. But hey, I'm getting out of my comfort zone and playing with some other baits. That's what I'm doing this last couple of years. Striking has always been my go-to. Them and Yamamoto, hey, what can I say? Z-Man. Berkeley, Big Bite Baits, and of course Strike King. We know we're going to catch some fish this year because it's good solid stuff. If you like videos like this, click that thumbs up button. It let's YouTube know that people enjoy content like this. If you're brand new to fishing or just getting back to it after a long time away, or just looking for some tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, hey, you've come to the right spot. Click that subscribe button right here and join the Gramps Fam Damley. If you like unboxings and other review videos, hey, watch this right up here. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories, one cast at a time.